here I am at the library. Finally made it. Pretty much made to all the destinations that I've been asking to go to. Capilano, the library, Gastown. I did this all by myself. I'm so proud of me. It's been a rough journey, hard and frustrating. But as long as you set goals and keep continue making them, then that's what life is. <laughs> all right, off I go into the library. Yep, everyone. That was me in Vancouver, Canada, traveling around, um, doing some soul searching, and uh, yeah, I went by myself. Um, that was me with, uh, I had black hair and said this blonde hair, but yeah, if you ever get a chance, I highly recommend to go to Vancouver, Canada. Very, very life-changing. But um, in that video, I did speak about how it was a rough, long, frustrating journey and I thought it was a very good key factor about um, getting into these kind of projects because whenever you do get into any kind of projects, it is kind of really hard and frustrating and it can be irritating at times. So, um, but don't worry, like, um, once you understand um, your tools, um, it will give you a closer step to success. Yeah. Is it me or did anyone saw my mushy more fell down? Alright, so now for time for the basic tools. So the basic tools that um, when you get into, you know, crafting or building uh, doll houses and miniatures um, is that, uh, of course, you want to, number one tool here, um, pencil. Your pencil it's like your soul. You're really going to use your pencil a lot because you do have to make a lot of measurements and uh, you know mark a few things so that way you're able to cut um, those items. Um, the next thing is is a ruler here. Um, this one um, is in um, let's see here up here is in inches and down here is in centimeters. Um, it's really, really important to have a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, um, there's no way that you can actually process uh, any of these projects. A lot of these uh, do-yourself uh, crafting projects are imported. So it is going to be in the metric system. Um, so you do need to convert millimeters to centimeters. Uh, for those who are not good at math, like, um, moi, um, don't worry, just go on Google. Google would tell you the conversions and that way it would be a lot more easier and less stressful on you. Um, next thing is, is uh, of course a marker um, because sometimes uh, uh, a pencil doesn't work out. Um, for example, when you're working on uh, clothing material, um, it, pencils won't really make any kind of markings. If anything, it kind of ruins the stitching in it. So it's really good to have a marker in those cases and sometimes um, in some projects uh, marker does help give those little tiny details in those kind of items. Um, also um, it's good to the other most important thing you're just seeing me look down here and just jiggling with a whole bunch of items you have no idea what I'm jiggling with. Um, I actually have a cup here <laughs> from um, Bob's Burgers of Louise and it says I can smell fear on you. Don't worry. Once you learn the basics of the tools, the fear of the intimidation of this crafting um, is going to dissipate. So don't worry. I'm here to support you. I got your back. Okay, so here I'm going to put this cup here. Okay, so another important thing is scissors. Um, there, because a lot of these projects, they send you a pamphlet and uh, you have to cut out a lot of these materials um, and then you have to like fold it up and glue it together. So it's very essential to have some scissors be, um, because uh, you do have to cut a lot of things um, you know, accordingly to their measurements too. Um, next important thing is uh, tweezers. As much as tiny as my hands are and skinny, um, it's, I'm, I'm shaky, especially when I don't eat, I get very shaky and these items are very teeny tiny. Um, so it's very helpful when you have tweezers because it's much easier to maneuver 
or bend or place items into their settings. Um, the really important thing to have with these projects here is uh, glue. Without glue, I don't know how you're going to put anything back together, especially when you're working with a piece of paper. Um, egg whites is very sticky, but that'd be a waste of consumption of food, and we don't want to waste food because we're already um, having a problem with the um, food waste problem. So, uh, yeah, don't use egg white, please. But So, let me go ahead and explain these types of glue. Um, I'm going to go to my most favorite to least. Uh, my most favorite is uh, silicone glue uh, right here. Um, I may be pronouncing it incorrectly. Silicone? Silicone? I don't know. Um, write down in the comments how you pronounce it. Um, so, uh, silicone glue is a type of adhesive that contains uh, silicone and oxygen atoms, uh, making a good water-based solution. It is uh, used in many ways uh, in, uh, you know, in areas because uh, it, it, it is very, you know, makes, makes your project very stable, um, both chemically and thermally because, uh, you know, here I live in a hot climate. And then I'm sure, you know, people on the East Coast, they probably have humidity. So it works in both environments. Um, and then um, it also is resistant to uh, weathering and uh, moisture, um, you know, unlike other many adhesives out there, um, like the ones that you get in elementary school. <laughs> they're, that, they're not very adhesive at all. Um, it's a, uh, supposed to be a clear water base, so I don't think this is uh, fabric glue. I'm going to assume it is, um, so that way I can tell you details about it. But um, usually it's a um, urethane uh, adhesive that's also non-toxic. Um, with fabric glue, it's washable, and you can also dry clean it too. So it's, um, you know, it's like the same thing as uh, sewing but not actually putting the thread and needle into it. You're just, you know, gluing it and then you're good to go. So basically you can hem things the easy way instead of sewing it. Um, but uh, I really do like this glue. Um, it actually worked really good on um, pieces of paper. So um, this is good for small projects. This is good for big projects. And my least favorite one is um, this one. It was so watery. Um, it didn't really do any good. It, it, Paper-wise, it just crinkled it all up. So um, it's nice that they provided to me in the kit, but it just um, pretty much the adhesive on it was just um, a ridiculous joke. <laughs> so those are the um, glues right there from my least to favorite. Um, silicone, um, fiber glue, and, and um, this uh, least favorite whatever kind of glue it is. Um, but yeah, next thing is dun, dun, dun. well, some kits, as you can see, as how many paintbrushes I have, um, there are times that you do have to paint um, your miniatures or your rooms and stuff like that. So it's really good to have paintbrushes on hand. Uh, there are some kits that do come with the paintbrush like um, in my previous uh, previous video um, it did talk about uh, roll life and roll life actually gave me this really good quality brush um, these brushes actually I didn't get with a um, a crack do yourself uh, dollhouse kit um, it actually came by painting by numbers uh, but if you do want to see it, um, I will go ahead and put the link down below so you can go ahead and see uh, the numbers by painting um, project that I'm working on. It's actually very pretty, very romantic, very bright coloring. Um, but uh, another thing um, is to have a, a small bag um, because uh, you are going to have a mess on your uh, table here, your crafting table. So uh, by having a uh, small bag, actually this is not a small bag, it's actually a grocery bag that I fold up in a football, as we called it in uh, 
high school or grade school <laughs> and we just use it and then and then we'll just flick it but anyways uh, it's good to have uh, a, a small bag or a box to discard any um, unwanted items um, are in your area me personally what I like to do is that I just like to just go ahead and um, use the box that it came with or the packaging that it came with because I'm gonna throw it away anyway so um, so I just go ahead and just use that instead so um, whether it's convenient for you, um, if you can find like, or just a trash bin that's close to you, just go ahead and use your trash bin. Basically, the main basic tools that you do want to have when you do start, um, otherwise you're going to hit a roadblock and then you're going to be frustrated that you bought or you spent money on a uh, project that you can't build until you go to the store or go on Amazon to buy the proper materials. Another thing guys, you uh, want to go ahead and have a cardboard box uh, because uh, there are times that you do have to paint some stuff. You don't want to make your nice table um, dirty or anything. Um, and then there are times you, you do have to cut some things. And you don't want to, you know, once again, destroy your furniture because furniture is really expensive. So it's really good to have cardboard on hand. Um, so once again, keep the packaging that you receive because um, you can use it um, during your building process. So now... Adult supervision tools, hardware tools. So <laughs> it's um yeah and, and um I am gonna bring you that um that majority of these tools that I am gonna show you uh, I do I did do some research for you um that way if you are a starter or a beginner I made it a little bit more easier to find some tools um that is also cost efficient because uh, we're all ballers on our budget because I know I'm a baller on a budget so um, you know uh, if you are interested in getting some of the tools of the recommendation suggestions or the ones that I am going to show you here I went ahead and provide the link down below you're welcome and uh, you know plus I love doing research if you guys want me to do any kind of research um, let me know um, I will literally spend two hours on one item to get the best deal I can. That's how obsessed I am in the intervention. My most favorite thing is the headgear, um, the magnifying glass. Um, it just makes things a lot more easier. If you don't have it or you can't you know, pay out of pocket to get a uh, magnifying glasses or a stand, um, that's uh, perfectly fine if you're a gangster and you can do it just by eyesight. Uh, more power to you because to be honest with you, I'm wearing contacts, I'm blind as a bat, I can't do it. So I, I gotta wear um, this pretty much this headgear here, this magnifying glass. Um, I'm probably gonna do a mini review uh, to uh, give you a little bit more details about this item because I really do enjoy it. I did buy it for as a birthday gift to myself. So um, um, look out for that video in the future. Um, if I know how to put my shape together. Okay, so a utility knife. Uh, I MacGyver. <laughs> and I just use a box cutter or a razor blade um, to cut my items. Um, I, I highly suggest that you get a utility knife because you're going to get better quality um, looking um, details, especially when you're working with paperwork. Because uh, uh, with this, it was uh, not very easy. I actually had to take it out the casing, uh, which is not smart. That's why I'm saying, please, if you're um, you know young, please have adult supervision because. Uh, you could possibly cut yourself if you don't know what you're doing when you're working with these kind of tools. So um, utility knife, um, very important to have because there are sometimes you do have to cut, um, you know, paper or wood. Um, another thing um, I like to call is alligator clips. Um, <laughs> don't go in the store and say alligator clips. 
because they're going to think you're crazy. Because they're going to think alligator and then clip. What? So um, the actual term um, for this item is actually called a binder clip. Uh, they're uh, inexpensive. Um, you know, they're like two, three dollars. If you can find them cheaper, once again, more power to you. Because uh, we're all ballers on a budget. So, yeah, that's really important to have. Um, because there are times that you are going to pay some things and you have to hold it together and you don't want to sit there for three minutes just like bored out of your mind and your hand is cramping holding this item because you're waiting for the glue to dry. So just go ahead and have a couple of these on hand and then um, it will help you, um, you know, with the process faster because uh, you can go ahead and move on to the next project. Uh, the next thing. Uh, I would say is uh, wire cutters. Um, I know these look like pliers, but if you look at the end right here, they're actually pliers. Um, they're jankety. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but you got to work what you got to work with. Uh, for example, um, right now my camera is the LG V10. And I literally had to use a tiny box and Scott tape um, the phone around this box to get a stand. That's right. Do more with less. So I'm a guyver that. Thank you. Thank you. But you want to go ahead and uh, get those wire cutters because it's really important. Um, next to the wire cutters is a needle nose plier. Boop, boop. Um, I don't really prefer these because they're a little bit more, as you can see, a little bit more thicker here. So this is, is uh, more for like, um, like house utility kind of thing, not for crafting. But once again, I'm MacGyvering and I'm doing what I can here to make these projects work out. Um, but I did put some really good suggestions down below, which I made by myself because it is at a really good price. So um, once I get, uh, you know, uh, them dollar dollar bill Joe, I'll go ahead and uh, purchase those items myself too. Um, another thing to have um, is Zippy um, because uh, the, when you're working with wood, there are going to be sharp objects, so you want to go ahead and sand it down. Um, even with furniture, um, uh, there's sometimes you have to make the furniture even. I got a table that had three even signs and then one very large one. So I sat there and sanded and sanded and sanded. I was watching Space Jams at the time. It took the entire movie of Space Jams. To finally make that table even. So um, my next suggestion is is to get a Dremel. I have a Dremel uh, myself. I do have it. It's in my storage unit, but I'm not risking it for the biscuit and going through my storage unit and risk my like pain that I'm having going on here to go find a Dremel to make my life easy. I'm just gonna sit here and just like sandpaper it with my left hand. And then and then work it, you know. Once again, do more with less. Um, and then, bum ba bum, bum ba bum, dun dun. Blue <laughs> bun. Um, I thought about adding this to the basic tools, but when I really do think about it, it is a um, hot, uh, you know. Material. I want to say material to work. Hot tool. There we go. It is a hot tool um, that you, um, we're working with right here. Um, it does come with a stand, but um, once again, uh, I'm working with jankiness right here, so uh, I lost the stand. Uh, so extreme adult supervision with this um, because it does get hot in this area, especially in this middle part. Good thing this thing is off because I will be burning my fingers off right now. Um, you do have to let it warm up for a few moments. I would say let it warm up um, for a good like you know minute, a minute and thirty seconds, um, and then you get this uh, this uh, plastic tube. Um, unfortunately I don't have any right now but uh, you just insert it there 
and then um, it, you just go ahead and push it and then the glue comes out of it. Um, so it's uh, you know basically a thermal plastic adhesive um, you know uh, fine enough um, they use it to uh, glue up the soles of your shoes, but later on as time progressed, they went ahead and used it on delicate fabrics and, um, and heavy materials just like wood. So, you know, um, it's good to have a glue gun on hand when you can afford it. Uh, me personally, I'm very inexperienced with it. Uh, whenever I worked with like tinsel, for example, be careful with tinsel and hot glue um, because this thing will completely melt the plastic. So whenever you're working with plastic material, um, just be well aware that this thing will melt it, okay? Um, and then the next thing is paint! <laughs> this actually came with one of my kits, uh, the Roll Life kit. Um, so I thought paint was harmless. I was going to once again put this in the basic tools. But uh, kids tend to put things in their mouth, and um, so once again, adult supervision. Because um, even though this paint is non-toxic, uh, you still don't want any little child or being like a dog to eat up this paint because you don't know if it's going to cause um, internal problems. All right, guys, and the next segment, the next segment um, is the out-of-the-box tools, um, tools that you, um, that you wouldn't normally think that you need uh, while you're working on these projects. Uh, the number one very important thing is to have water. It's really important to stay hydrated because um, you're sitting here and you're focusing um, on these things and you you know you just need to keep yourself hydrated because you don't want you know to faint from dehydration or go to hospital for dehydration so please have water on hand <laughs> as you can see I'm thirsty too it's really important to have snacks because um, your brain actually processes a lot of energy when you're thinking. Um, you know, you are burning calories that way and you do get hungry and your metabolism does burn fast. So um, make sure that you do have a snack on hand. Um, unfortunately enough, like I, I went to Universal Studios. Don't get me wrong. It smells so good, but because it's such a big chunk, like a lot of people deny on sharing this with me, so I have to take the time and effort to actually cut this. But um, like as it's 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 pretty, it's pretty solid, guys. When it comes with the car, who do you got? Helga Hufflepuff. I'm a Gryffindor, but you know, <laughs> you all know what you Hufflepuff are so doing because you guys are next to the kitchen. Come on now. Come on, go on. Eva says in your name, Hufflepuff. You know you're going to the kitchen. But it's really important to have the time. Um, it's, it's because when you're working on these crafts, time does pass by really quick. Uh, I remember working on a small little hut and two hours passed by. And that was not the entire hut that I was working on. It was just the front portion because I wanted to make sure it was like really good detail and it was growing up the house and had pretty flowers and yeah, and two hours passed by. So um, that was my life here, just like that. So make sure you have a clock and you check it regularly. Um, time yourself um, because you know uh, you don't want to get exhausted the next day. Another thing is you know I have extra parts right there, extra parts. No, it's just a container that I keep all my extra parts in here. Um, I really, really love this container, um, and so I kept it. It is a good thing that I kept it because this is where I keep all of my uh, projects that I work on that I have extra pieces to um, and so if anything of you know my 
dollhouses or items within that project breaks, I can fix it. So that's why I have a little storage unit to go ahead and, uh, you know, not lose everything. So it's really important to stay organized. Uh, and by the way, this is a, a wonderfully pillow. And look at her. She is so peaceful, sound asleep. And that's how I am every night too. Um, I highly recommend getting this pillow. It is a bamboo um, pillow covering, so it keeps you cool at night, especially during this hot summer. Um, it also has memory foam bits inside, so that way it's able to form to your head and neck um, while you're sleeping. Um, you know, after my injury, this thing really helps. Um, you know, reduce some of the strain that was having. So I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but FYI, it's going to smell like a factory uh, for three days. Uh, I did add the link down below um, for this pillow. So just in case you want it. You know what? There was one item I forgot that that I, I forgot to mention the hardware. <laughs> Make sure you guys get a 2.5 uh, millimeter screwdriver. Uh, it's really important to have on hand because uh, there are times, especially with electrical wiring, um, you need to uh, you know screw it back together, screw you know screw the battery in or screw the wire in and everything. Um, but yeah, it's really good to have. I know a lot of you are looking at me crazy, like that's a pen to me. But no, it's there. It is. That's 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 the hidden part about this pen too. Is that it is also a um, flathead and a screwdriver. So um, super MacGyver pen right here. This thing has saved my life so many times. But um, yeah. Uh, make sure that you do have that on hand um, because I remember working on a um, working on something like a table. I had to wrap the wiring around it. Um, I say uh, now <laughs> I cheated, so um, you know uh, use your resources, guys. Use your resources. Look around, see what you can use. You know, but you got. I know there's probably a lot of stuff in your house. You can probably find something to make something work like how I make this stand with a tiny box and a whole bunch of scotch tape to make this video so um, um, if you have the willpower and determination you can do it I promise you so, a final goodbye to you for this video um, so a workman who wants to do his work well uh, must prepare his tools so make sure that you stay organized and prepare your tools here um, and that is my my good old man Confucius who said that um, once again a workman who wants to do his work well must first prepare his tool so make sure that you um, have your tools around you before you start your project Otherwise, you're going to look around like a madman for two hours trying to find, like, um, where's my, where's my, where's my pencil? I, I, I can't find my pencil. Some, 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 I, 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 I need it. So make sure that you, you know, make sure that you prepare because uh, that is the first step to the path of success and, uh, and setting up your foundation. So, um, as always, everyone, um, you know, stay mini. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, good morning. I didn't know you guys were still here. Um, well... The tube video has ended, so um, don't forget to, you know, maybe go to my other pages now, like my Instagram page or or my Twitter account page. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, try to be that 100 subscriber, so that way you can rename my channel. But uh, 
Yeah, guys, uh, keep it mini, and I hope you have a great day. Started off great, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah.